Quitting smoking, keeping a gratitude journal, developing a mindfulness practice. Whether we want to break habits or create new ones, the process can be difficult. Most of us have made resolutions to break or create habits only to relapse in our existing behaviors. How do we change this cycle? How do habits work? And what are the elements needed to break and create habits? The key word to understanding habits is automaticity, acting without thinking. To make or break a habit using automaticity, we need if-then plans. If X happens, then I'll do Y. Habits are formed by the habit loop. This loop consists of the reminder, the trigger of the behavior, the routine, the behavior itself, and the reward, the benefit of the behavior. To break or develop a habit, create behavior chains and a reminder. Look at things you do every day and things that happen to you every day. Insert an if-then plan that fits to these opportunities for automaticity. Eliminate excessive options. Identify aspects of your life that can be routinized so that you have mental energy to work on your habits. Process plan. Visualize the process of habit forming instead of the outcome. Do that by defining micro quotas and macro goals. Work on your big goals with the day-to-day -day quotas to get there. Experiment with rewards. Create success and positive feedback loops. To monitor your habit, use tracking apps or a simple daily yes-no chart. Eliminate the what-the-hell effect or ah, screw it. Include an if-then plan to mitigate these moments. Studies have shown that certain habits, like making your bed, exercising or keeping a journal, can keystone other habits. Recognize a keystone habit that works for you and use it to develop other habits. Habits are the invisible architecture of everyday life and a significant element of happiness. So why not start breaking or creating a habit today?